Alsuma was a rural community between Tulsa and Broken Arrow, Oklahoma in Tulsa County, Oklahoma. Its post office opened in 1905, named Welcome, Oklahoma, but was renamed Alsuma in 1906. Another version states that the town was named for John Alsuma, a local merchant. According to a longtime resident, the town was renamed for three girls, Alice, Susan, and Mabel. However, the informant did not know the full names of the girls or why they were selected. The name is still used locally in referring to a specific area of southeast Tulsa. The Missouri, Kansas, and Texas Railroad, locally known as MKT or KT, ran through Alsuma and built a station there in 1909. The railroad closed that station in 1940, but operated another station there from 1943 until it was closed in 1971. The railroad renamed the station either Travillion or Troxillion in 1926, but the sign was repeatedly stolen until the company restored the Alsuma signage. Some early newspapers characterized Alsuma as one of Oklahoma's black towns. However, former residents have said that some white families also lived there during the time of racial segregation. Alsuma had its own school for black children, but the white children went to Union High School, a substantially superior facility. After segregation was outlawed, the black children all transferred to the Union School and the Alsuma School closed permanently. The Alsuma area seemed to be an attractive locale for an airfield, in the early days of flying. Garland, who owned Garland Airport at 51st and Sheridan Road in Tulsa County. The facility was later renamed Garland Clevenger Airport, and by 1934 it was known as Tulsa Commercial Airport. The airport moved a short distance to the southwest, but still in the vicinity of Alsuma, by 1937. Oil man Walter Brown bought the facility in 1951, renamed it Brown S. Air Service and soon began to upgrade it. He added hangars, paved runways, and a combination office-slash-restaurant building. The city did not extend city services to that area for several years, and did not permit new construction in the area during that time. Tulsa proposed to redevelop the area as an industrial park in 1969, under the aegis of urban renewal, and rezoned the entire area for industrial use. It finally completed extending the sewer and water systems to Alsuma in 1971. Few physical traces of Alsuma still exist inside the Tulsa city limits on 51 Street between Mingo Road and the Mingo Valley Expressway. Alsuma had its own park, where both black and white children played during the era of segregation. 51st Street as a recreation area, but it is used primarily for storm water retention. There are soccer fields in the pond area, but all playground equipment has disappeared. There are still some residences remaining, but officially Alsuma is regarded as a ghost town.